Hey everyone, welcome back to The Miller Life. It's Lisa. We're gonna do a reaction video to Bill Burr, How to Raise a Kid. Um, I've had a lot of different requests from Bill Burr and some other comic uh, uh, people. I, I need to make a list. <coughs> There's so many. So uh, this is gonna be my last video for the day and I'll do some editing afterwards, but uh, let's get to listening. I hope it's funny. I really do. How to Raise a Kid has got to be funny because <laughs> I, I'm not a kid fa a fan, you know. My kid was different because she was mine, um, but I never really cared for her having sleepovers. It was always difficult for me, and I was very surprised that I bonded with Wava's grandson the way that I did. Well, he's actually our grandson. His name is Xander, and he is three years old and just so precious. And when they came here last year, no, they were here in 17. Um... So when they came here, I was really afraid that I was not going to be able to bond with him because he wasn't mine, number one. And number two, I don't care for kids. I don't, I just don't. I'm not a kid-friendly person. I'm not mean to them, but I don't, it's just the tolerance and patience is not there. So anyway, this should be hysterical because of how I feel about kids. All right, let's get to Work it. On it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped, you know? My dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. He'd see some broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy, give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> 13 goddamn years of this shit. Ah, oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the flyers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating. I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing <laughs> them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know, where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know, when did they stop making those angels? who just knew it had nothing to do with them. They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury. Not anymore. Right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. <laughs> How was your day? How the fuck was your day? I'm out here making decisions. <laughs> Take these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. <laughs> Then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you can sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. So I'm supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. You know, <laughs> you can't, even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> you like, rrr, 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 it starts fading off. <laughs> you start thinking about your own life, right? Why don't I take Nebraska given 28? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, our voice goes, it goes up, right? You're like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. <laughs> right now what do you do 
Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know, half time adjustments, uh, got nothing. Generic answers. No. I don't wanna make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man, but you know, I, I understand him though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> Brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre Oprah, pre Dr. Phil, pre chicken soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. <laughs> the pressure of that, feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap, just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass this all down? You fucking bitch, how the fuck am I getting married for this bullshit? <laughs> Boom, he slammed the door. <laughs> have the car in third gear by the time he got it to the end of the driveway. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. But what is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, you give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it! <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know? <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, I analyze it. I don't, I actually come, finally come to the point, I want to have a kid, and I don't think it's that hard. I don't. <laughs> part of me really believes that, and the other part is I just like pissing off people with kids, you know? Whenever you say shit like that, oh, you have no idea how difficult it is. This is a great one to say. Well, I mean, I got a dog. I mean, you know, how much stuff? Dude, you can't even fucking compare it to a dog. Yeah, I can. I just did, and I'll do it again. Mine's got four legs. Yours only has two. Go ahead. And Yours our dogs never grow up. Mine gets put down. Stakes are raised. <laughs> no, I think I know. I think I know how to raise a kid. You know what it is? You just, you just play catch with them. I think that's the big deal, man. That's how you raise a kid. You play catch with them. You just talk about life. You distract them by throwing the ball. They don't even notice. You're filling their heads up with your theories. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't do it the old school way, the p way your parents used to. Sit down across from you. You want to tell me about your day? Did anybody offer you any drugs? You're learning about sex? You're like, dude, you're fucking freaking me out. I'm trying to eat a Pop-Tart here, right? No, you just take them back, you play catch with them. That's it, you talk about life, right? What's that, son? Ah, we're not going to church today, fuck that. <laughs> ah, it's all a bunch of bullshit. God's everywhere, but I gotta go down there to see him, really? And he's mad at me down there and I owe you money? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's in here, all right? It's not down, it's in here. They try to take it, it's, down, it's in here. You do something good, you feel good. You do something bad, you feel bad, you know? Unless you're like a sociopath and you don't feel shit, you know? Unless you got somebody duct taped upside down in your apartment, you know? And, and if you do something like that, I want you to feel like you can come to me, you know? Yeah, come to me, confess all of that. We'll go down to the precinct, we'll tell them everything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you in. This isn't fucking Dexter. What are you, you mind? <laughs> Some feel-good serial killer walking around. He only kills the, the bad people. <laughs> I know your mother and I, we've been arguing a lot lately, all right? But I know, you, know, you know I love her. I love her to death, okay? It's weird. I love her to death, but when I watch her eat toast, I just want to, I just want to choke her. I don't know what it is. It's, like, it's the routine, right? Left, then the middle. Just Why don't you just fold it in half and fucking eat it? You know what I mean? It's unreal. You know? That's, that, that's when you know, you, you know you met the right one. When you want to slap the shit out of him, but you don't. You know? You want to leave, but you don't. There's something about him you just can't fucking leave. Right? 
So don't settle down till you meet one like that. That's, that's when you know. <laughs> till then, you know, put a condom on, you know, just bang as many as you can so you don't have a midlife crisis. That's what you do. Don't tell your mother I'm telling you any of this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, uh, that's, that's my game plan. You know, I do have a dog. That doesn't count for anything. I've never understood that, you know? Dogs never grow dog, up. But, uh, Kids do. I've learned a lot on being a dog owner, man. You know, any dog's a good dog unless you're a psycho. You know, I got a pit bull. It's still a great dog unless you're a fucking psycho. And evidently, I'm a... Oh, man. I'd love to hear that, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to the dog one the next time. That was actually funny shit. That was hysterically funny um, and true on so many levels. I mean, my mom and dad got married for convenience. She was previously married to my biological dad, and... They got divorced. She was only 17 when she had me. So she got divorced and met my dad at a bar. <laughs> at a bar. She was a go-go dancer, of all things. And she met him. And uh, I guess really quickly, he just looked at her and said, Hey, listen, I need a wife. And you need a father for your daughter. So let's get married out of convenience and that's what they they did and they stayed together for 10 years uh, my mom left when I was nine and uh, I stayed with my dad until I was 13 there's so many stories I could tell you about my dad and me I don't want to bore you but they're funny stories very funny stories I got I was the original Ferris Bueller I was. I skipped school for 30 days because it was just me and my dad. And all dad cared about was he worked at General Motors. And when he came home at night, he went to Parents Without Partners, <laughs> which was, was a group. They call it PWP, Parents Without Partners. And he would go every night almost. And so it was like... We'd come home, we'd go out, go out to dinner. He'd give me money and drop me off at the roller skating rink and he would go down to Parents Without Partners. <laughs> that was our life every day. But I skipped school for 30 days. I told him I moved to Houston where my mother lives and I was moving there and they said, okay, send, make sure you send, send for your transcripts. And I said, oh, no problem. But after 30 days and no transcripts were sent, they contacted my dad and I got busted. I got busted. I got my ass beat pretty good. Pretty good. He found me at the bowling alley smoking cigarettes. By then I was like 11, 12 years old and I was sitting in this bowling alley, 75 cents for a pack of Marlboros back then. Or maybe it was Benson and Hedges. I don't know. I wanted it to be fancy cool. Okay. So yeah. And I had blue, blue, <laughs> blue eyeshadow all the way up to here. Like what the fuck Lou? So <laughs> he beat my ass all the way home, said I was grounded for a month and then proceeded to give me money to go to the roller skating rink while he went to PWP. <laughs> I love you guys. Till the next time.